Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Tuesday, October 13th of 2020. One of the presidential candidates is using a slogan that has sent chills down my spine. He is declaring that he is fighting for the soul of this country. It can be easy to criticize the man or even the political party responsible for using that phrase, but never in a presidential race has the truth been revealed so blatantly. The fact is that this election is about the soul of our country, but it isn't political per se. This is a spiritual fight that has been coming on now for some time. Sometimes the devil hides his agenda in public view right under our noses, but this time we are alert and have taken notice. Now is the time to sound the alarm and take our battle stations. Today, this morning's prayer reminds us that we are in a fight for the very soul and spiritual direction of this nation. Father, there is a fight for the soul of this nation. This is not a political fight, although that is what it appears to be. This is a spiritual fight and the soul, the moral fabric of this nation is at stake. Never has there been such division over an election as there is now. Never has this country been so polarized with the candidates. The mere mention, Father, of either name is causing friends to separate and families to become divided. Neither political party is free from the guilt or blame. The rioting and protests are not what they seem. Father, there is a force driving the rebellion and unrest that comes straight from the pit of hell. Politicians are not fulfilling their specific job duties in favor of promoting ideas and personal agendas to law, which are directly opposed to your word. Many of these are also opposed to the constitution of this nation. Confusion, Father, is rampant in the legal system, the political system, and especially in the general public. Father, there are people and nations who want to see this country to crumble. But their influence is that spiritual source of confusion, the devil himself. No other nation has sent more missionaries into the world on your behalf. Father, no other nation has provided more finances and humanitarian aid than this country. This is why the enemy, the devil, wants to destroy the USA. If he is successful, the collapse of this economy will affect virtually every other nation in the world. Oh, Father, is there a fight being waged? Absolutely. And it's time that your children entered the fight with confidence and an earnest conviction. Oh, Father, the fight for the soul of this nation is real. We pray for the righteous soul of the United States to prevail, for this is a worldwide fight. Oh, we pray in the name of Jesus this morning, Father. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.